Hi, uh, welcome this week. This week we're joined by our interns. Hi. Hi, I'm Kirikun Nusayan. I go by Pan. And I'm JJ Zhang. Okay. Yeah, so JJ and Pan uh, and Toshi. And, uh, so, you know, we came in um, this morning to paint this amazing setup. We're painting uh, some toast and some butter, lots of butter actually, mm -hmm. and some jelly. It's not toasted um, technically, but. Oh, you're right. It's just the bread. It's bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just Thanks for pointing that out. But uh, we chose these materials because of their translucency. Um, so this will be an interesting setup to paint. Uh, JJ and Pan's paintings we will take a look at now. Yeah. Let's take a look. Cool. So you're really... Uh, so talk us through a little bit. Like right now, we're looking at jelly. We're, we have a reflective surface, the plate. A um, couple translucent surfaces, the butter and the jelly. Um, what do you think? Is this a hard painting, easy painting as far as things go for you? Well, it's tough. I'm, I'm, more, uh, I'm more worried about the butter since um, it's quite different. I never tried it before and I, I really struggling with the, with a plain chain a bit. Even though it's like really simple, like a just boxy shapes but um, it's really hard to, to find the right color and temperature of it. Right, and every morning when you guys come in, we're always painting kind of in the same spot because it has great kind of diffused white light. So, you know, some of the qualities of that light um, is soft shadows, even though right now you've got pretty hard cast shadows, um, but you're starting to soften out. It looks like you're starting to soften out some yeah. of those. Um, yeah, let's talk about this, the pan shadow colors, you know, um, and this kind of neutral light setup seems like a, a, a shadow color could come a little bit warmer maybe, but, you know, and, you know, we talked about that when you were painting, but, yeah. you know, <clears throat> why do you think uh, we always have this tendency to bring cool into the shadow? Is this like a habit or something? What do you think? Well, it's, uh, it's my bad a bit, but I should focus on observing more than just go to autopilot mode where I just go paint it and yeah, that's uh, one thing that I try to stop. But I think a lot of, like, I think I've struggled with this before too, where, you know, you're really doing your best to observe the painting, but also I think like a lot of times we think about outdoor painting and sky fill and a lot of times sky fill is you know this the, the light from the sky the blue light from the sky is what makes shadows kind of blue mm -hmm. whereas in a setup like this it actually you know should you know when we look at the reference and look at like the live setup it's actually pretty warm great right great JJ no drawing you just go right into blocking in huh yeah how come and be serious. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, JJ, how come? Just well, um, it's more um, easy to change the shapes. Mm -hmm. I'm also not sure that shapes sketching is not necessary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think a drawing, you know, doesn't necessarily mean it's always with line, you know? And I actually approach oftentimes like that too, mm -hmm. like I don't necessarily use lines and and you, you kind of need, in a way, it doesn't really matter how you approach it, but sometimes it forces you to see shapes and planes, you know, of the object. Um, so that's good. And then, you know, when you are, <clears throat> one thing I would say, JJ, um, yeah. And I think I see that in pans too a little bit is the uh, just overall sort of the value, the yeah. subtle value shift, for example, on the plate or even on the bread, left side of the, the plate feels a little too dark to me. Oh, yeah. um, I don't get the sense of light softly kind of gra you know, gradating like across the scene in both of your paintings, which I saw there, because the light is coming from one direction pretty strongly. So that's how you kind of bring the scene into more spacious kind of 
uh, three dimensional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was really uh, impressed by the the use of sort of reflection of the environment, <laughs> you know, um, against the uh, as opposed to the light source highlight, you know, on the jam. That's really, really good observation. And then you have this warm, translucent, <coughs> you know, glow onto the other side of the jam as the light passing through the object. You know, that's a really good observation. And, you know, you did it in a pretty nice balanced way uh, between cool and warm. Yeah. Very simple, but it's all there. Great. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.